Thiti is the chairman of FCT's secondary education board, Yaya Musa Mohammed. It's nice to have you in our studio. It's my pleasure. And congratulations, schools have finally resumed. Yep. <laughs> really? Really? All right, uh, what can be said of schools in the suburb in terms of putting safety protocols in place, just like we watched in the reports? Yeah, actually in the Federal Capital Territory, we have um, 77 senior secondary schools under the FCT Secondary Education Board. And this cut across uh, the six area councils. Um, whatever arrangement you find in the municipality is being replicated in all our schools, uh, whether they are in municipality or in the suburb. So we have adequate preparation for uh, uh, our schools in order, to, in order to comply with the NCDC uh, protocols. So uh, that's you know, a problem for us in terms of uh, giving them what is uh, required to, in order to ensure that we have um, a preventive arrangement against uh, the COVID-19. Okay. Uh, we heard that the initial directive was that only SS3 students were to resume. But as observed in the report, GSS3 students were on the last minutes asked to uh, resume. Well, uh, the um, uh, announcement from the Federal Ministry of Education wasn't ambiguous. Okay. It was very clear and vivid that uh, exiting classes are uh, uh, to resume from the fourth, uh, which of course comprises of uh, JS3 um, as well as uh, SS3. So it wasn't an ambiguous uh, statement from the Federal Ministry of Education. The JS3 also is part and parcel of the exiting classes we have. So uh, that explains why. Uh, explains why you find them resuming today being the 4th of uh, um, August. All right, there's the fear of mass failure because some of them couldn't uh, afford online lessons. Uh, what's your position on this? Well, it wasn't like, it's, it's, it's not like um, the process leading them to writing WAIC uh, is just starting now. It started right from when they uh, were in SS1 uh, through to SS2 and of course uh, preparing them for WAIC now which is the uh, exiting class. So a lot of, uh, virtually in FCT, we ensure that uh, we um, employ uh, you know, learning through uh, uh, a school management system where uh, virtually all our schools, it was, it was just like a moment for them to actually have a very robust and vivid uh, uh, contact with uh, appropriate learning. So what they only missed was uh, is this issue of being in the classrooms. But as far as the preparation arrangements were concerned, uh, it wasn't as bad as uh, people are expecting. Uh, enough uh, teaching learning enterprise actually took place within this period using various means of uh, social media. Okay, so how long are they supposed to be in school before their exams? Well, the exam, the wife, for example, is coming up on the 17th of this month, so uh, they are expected to be in school for the next um, uh, yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, before uh, the exams actually comes up on the 17th. All right. So, what assurance would you give to parents on the safety of their children? For, uh, FCT, because it's really hard to control children. Well, really, uh, even before the advent of COVID-19, the FCT administration had taken a very proactive step in trying to decongest our schools. Fifteen additional senior secondary schools have been established long before even the advent of uh, COVID-19 in order to decongest our schools. Uh, the facilities have been, uh, we have in our schools have been rehabilitated. We have more new classrooms being constructed. The laboratories have been rehabilitated. And um, teaching learning enterprise for our uh, students now in FCT uh, actually is far, far better than what it used to be before the advent of uh, the COVID-19. And most importantly, so now that uh, it's only the existing classes that are resuming, uh, the other staff that we have, teach, both teaching and non-teaching, will now be redeployed in order to handle this few number of students that will resume for uh, the WIAC exam. So there's going to be enough manpower to checkmate the activities of students in, uh, in our schools. Okay, I would like to check you back to the issue of the schools in suburbs. Yeah. How do you intend to monitor compliance? Well, uh, it's been, uh, it's not, it's never a new thing. Uh, okay. We have our various departments. We have Department of Quality Assurance and that also goes to, uh, around these schools. In the Secondary Education Board, we have a monitoring and evaluation department also. We have uh, the Division of, in charge of school services. So 
we have enough manpower to monitor uh, what actually happens in our various schools. And most importantly, as I said earlier, that we now have a robust school management system in place now that we can easily communicate uh, to our principals across the six area councils in, term in terms of monitoring actually what happens in our schools. All right. Mr. Mohammed, thank you so much for your time. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you for enlightening us. Thank you so much. And giving much. us hope that yeah. our children can go back to school. Yeah. Thank you so much. We're happy that we're back once again. Congratulations. It's <laughs> a pleasure.